Oskayak High School has a long history here in Saskatoon. Um, back in the early 80s, it was known as the Saskatoon Native Survival School. Uh, it was a, a vision of a number of Indigenous people in, in Saskatoon to create a school for Indigenous students to share uh, cultural practices, spiritual practices, and to customize an educational experience mm -hmm. for Indigenous students. Um, it was then renamed Joe Duquette High School uh, in honor of um, an elder that was here and had done a great deal of work uh, with the school. A few years ago, it was renamed again Oskayak High School, um, the, the Cree word for young people. Uh, again, turning the school over to the students um, and re, kind of revisioning it so that it would be um, a place where young Indigenous students could come and celebrate their culture and uh, their spirituality, their practices, and be in a place where education could be customized for their needs. We offer uh, Plains Cree language. Um, what we use that for is that, that really provides us with the basis for the cultural identity of the school. As we, as we uh, integrate the culture and the language, um, we're providing our students with an opportunity to fully uh, immerse themselves in, in that language program. Um, you know, with, as with many, um, many programs where we have um, the culture and the language are, are almost inseparable. And so we see that as being something here that's uh, very advantageous for our students as they move forward uh, to know their, their, their language. The program here, the, the school offers uh, the program to really everyone from age 14 to age 21. So all of the school age students that are here from grade nine to 12 and also in our adult 12 program. So we have students, um, all the, like I say, all the way through from ages 14 to 21 involved in, in the language acquisition and the cultural programming. We see this as being um, an evolving program. Uh, we speak with our students on a regular basis, asking them what their wants and their needs are. And so as we evolve the program, we're hoping that it better meets the needs of the current students while always uh, tying it back to uh, to the heritage and to the culture of the students in the program. We find that by doing that, um, it better connects them with who they are and really helps them to focus on who they want to be. I think the benefits here are that we are um, not, our school is not trying to um, offer something, uh, a program or programming or pedagogy, culturally responsive pedagogy for First Nations students. That's what we do. Um, all the students here are First Nations um, and many of them comment that um, they, they feel like their anxiety is reduced their, um, and they feel much more comfortable here because we have our elders, we have our cultural advisors, and we have other students that are indigenous, and so they find that there's much more commonality than in kind of in, in other high schools in this city or in the province.